and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu Zoe. We're back, took a couple of days off, uh, just need some rest and, and um, wasn't feeling too good, had a little bit of a, a sore throat and stuff like that, a little bit of a head cold and just slept a lot the last couple of days. So we're back um, playing some Legends of Runeterra again. Um, hope everybody has had a good week and good start to their year. Um, we're we're going to be playing three donation decks today. The first one being Lulu Zoe. You can see our, our schedule up here on, on the top left. So we're going to have Lulu Zoe and Lucian Zed and Timo Sejuani. And I guess I could label these as donation decks as I normally do. These are viewer submitted decks. Let's do that. That's what the two Ds right here mean. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to be trying out a, a Lulu deck. You know, like, Lulu is a champion that is certainly on the weaker side of champions, and I think a lot of that is the power and health that Lulu has compared to all of the other three mana champions. Basically, all the other three mana champions, I guess besides, like, Zed and Katarina, um, all the other ones have, like, six-plus power and health combined. Lulu's only got five. Um, Lulu's a champion that you have, and really the problem is, is both Zed and Katarina are champions that can, that can already protect themselves in combat, though. Lulu cannot protect itself in combat, and it's a champion that you need to put into combat to, to get use out of, but it can't really protect itself, and it's very vulnerable. So that's, that's like kind of problematic there. Um, now, of course, it, it does buff up something else, you know, it, it does some good stuff in combat but it's pretty easy for your opponent to block and kill it and it's not something you really want to block with i think what i would do to we, we were just talking about this what i would do currently to buff up lulu because i think that lulu deserves a buff and what i would do is i would make lulu a 2-4 instead of a 2-3 kind of like what they did with like shen before shen being a 3-4 and they're like you know what let's make shen be a 3-5 that was something they they did before and and uh or no, 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 I guess never mind. Shen was a 2-5, and then they made Shen, Shen a 3-5 by adding in one power. I think the you know, like Lulu could have that. You know, basically like Laurent Protégé being a 2-4 in Demacia for three mana, I think Lulu could kind of be the same thing where um, just have it be able to survive from blockers a little easier. I think that would be nice. Um, no, they don't need to just give her elusive. She would be really strong if she, she just had elusive. Yeah, that, that would probably be too good, <laughs> to be honest. But we're going to try to do that. We're going to try to grant her elusive. We're going to have Fey Guide in our deck to be able to give her elusive and uh, make it so um, you know, it's harder to block Lulu. So we got the Fey Guides in there. And we got a good amount of support stuff. You know, We have our Mountain Sojourners, Mentor of the Stones, Lulu, Young Witch. So a good amount of support units. Um and then Flower Child is a payoff. But we can also just kind of like win with elusives, right? Like Zoe is going to be, um, you know, Zoe's just always pretty good. And we're going to have like Zoe with Young Witch and maybe something else with Elusive with Fey Guide. And then uh, buff up the elusives with Mentor the Stones. All that kind of stuff going on here. We'll have our gems from Mountain Goat and Mentor the Stones. And a whole bunch of like little spells to interact with. So we'll see. This deck may do pretty well. It may not. You know, we'll just have to we'll just have to kind of see how Lulu's doing these days. So we're gonna go play five games in ranked with Lulu Zoe. So me and Chad has a, a good um yeah, yeah, so we're playing two rush. Rush should come in handy with Lulu for sure to help protect Lulu. So me and Chad had a good suggestion of like what about Lulu bringing along a Pix? Like maybe like a summon ability or or maybe some way to bring along a picks. Kind of like how Braum can bring my, can get Mighty Poro. That's like a big strength of Braum is you know how they change Braum to have Mighty Poro. Yeah, I could see Lulu and Picks going well together. Um, I guess I just kind of mulligan all this stuff to begin with. Like there's some of those cards like Deny and Concussive Palm. You know can definitely be pretty useful against a Lee Sin deck, but I think that. Uh, just overall, we want to have. Um, I'll show the hunters. Uh, we want to have different cards. We want to be able to have some units. 
to be able to curve out. So wait until turn two to play Zoe so that I can have Pill Cascade along with Zoe. Like, you know, Nightfall Pill Cascade. Our hand, yeah, our hands, our hands, all right. It's yeah, it's not necessarily the best, but it's all right. This wasn't what I wanted. I wanted the one mana, one the one mana four one. I wanted that, and then you know be able to block and still keep two mana available for this other stuff. I don't really like either of those options, to be honest. So never mind. I'm just gonna take the hit. Hey, Togrek. Yeah, I mean, really, I'm much more scared of Lee Sin than Riven, but yeah, that would have been a good... Um, that would have been a, a good card to have, Crith and Strike, for a Lee Sin in the future. Nopify would not stop that. Um, that, that was a 4-mana spell. This... Oh, I guess it, I guess it, I could have stopped the ravenous flock, right? I, I figured like with the ravenous flock, my my other Zoe was just only at um, was only at one or two out of ten anyway, and that just might as well just play a new Zoe. I write the rules of power. Just a little farther. Right behind you. All right, so we can notify that. Keep our 3-2 alive. So now the Zoe's at 4 out of 10. But I may have to block with it. The dragon lives. So they got the Blade of the Exile. You can use on that little one drop that they want. Ooh, that Mentor of the Stones is intriguing to play first, but then, you know, they can play, like, their stun stuff. So they have certainly shown stun cards. I could just simply attack like this and, you know, get plus two, plus two here, and then plus four, plus four here. I guess I probably should. I'm definitely going to cast this thing first, though. Um, 
and so go Crescent Strike. Okay. We'll just make the attack at this time. Future hold. Uh, vision hazy. Please ask again later. But I could see, like, maybe one Crescent Strike. I'm taking the second Crescent Strike because maybe they deny the first one. Right, like, maybe they, like, they go deny and then they go Blade of the Exile. And then I have a backup. Looks like that happened. I know my purpose. Yuck. Well, at least we're not taking lethal. What conflict we have to block with either the 4 4 or Zoe. It's not the easiest decision. I, I guess it's actually just Zoe. This 4-4 is just going to be attacking for more damage this next turn. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it's just Zoe. It Stay hidden. Stay focused. <laughs> So yeah, this one gets the plus two, plus two, this one gets plus four, plus four, and then this one gets plus six, plus six with these Mountain Sojourners. Dragon! That's a good support chain. They, okay, as I said, like, they need, like, the lifesteal barrier. Thank you, Dragon, thanks for the sum. Okay, what do we got here? Looks like we got go hard. So the the two mana one one isn't going to be something that's going to be fantastic against go hard. And I mean, fake guide is fake guide is good, but we don't have anything else to fake guide. Like I like this card against go hard, and deep meditation drawing two is good, but it's a slow hand. Okay. So obviously we're not playing Zoe on turn one and letting them go hard. We're gonna be able to play Zoe and then have some blessed vigor to protect. It's a good some blessed vigor. Good some blessed vigor. No blocks for me. Yeah, let's go with the goat. So many go hards. So our one protection spell did save from both go hards, so that's pretty nice. Now, what do we want to do here? Going straight to attacks prot protects from another go hard. Um, but I also kind of want to get the super cool star chart out of my hand first. Um, so I could play like a young witch. 
Now, this isn't that great against Twisted Fate, though. Ah. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have. I'm a people person. Alright, should have gone straight to attacks. Should have just played the super cool star chart. That was a little greedy by me. That may co cost me this game. You poor thing. No. Ouch. Yeah, this, this one looks like a lost cause now. Thanks, Noble Pie. Keep up, keep up. Couldn't have had you earlier. And I've, I've always struggled with Young Witch Lulu decks against um, these Go Hard decks. Like I, this is just a, a pretty difficult ask. Gems are superb. Bad for the team. So I know I could keep up Deny for another Pack Your Bags, but it's really difficult to keep up 4 mana all the time for a 1 mana spell. Um, I'm going to hope they just don't have one right now. That's my game plan. For silver, I talk. For gold, I taste it. Celestial power. There is a system. I mean, well, whenever they draw a pack your bags, they can cast it again. Right, like the the other ones aren't turned into go hards. I guess you can. They're still pack your bags. But it doesn't really matter with leveled up twisted bait. Looks like they found another. All right, GG's. Okay, Draven Ezreal. This is again a kind of kind of a tough one. I want to just I just want to have like my support units. We have so many spells in this deck that I I can pretty freely mulligan spells, I feel like, while looking for units. I want to play Mentor the Stones right now, but obviously I don't want them to just bolt the Mentor the Stone or like deal one damage to it with a one mana spell. Like it, it kind of has to be Thermogenic Beam is like their only one mana spell though, and they've already played one of those. Come on.
time for a true display of skill. All right, so I need to hush Ezreal if they if they attack with Ezreal. I need to hush the Ezreal, but I can't. You know, like I, I have to be able to block. So like I could double gem, but then that that really gives away what I'm doing. This is a mess. I think. We're in this together. Right. I don't miss. Yeah, I think I just don't hush Ezreal right now. Try to hush Ezreal in a future turn. My opponent is very happy about themselves. They are very satisfied with life. I'm not sure if I'm going to regret playing that first, but just the upside of being able to grant, you know, plus, plus two, plus two to both of those other units. I think that upside is worth playing. Um, the, I, because kind of the only way that I regret is like stun cards, basically. So it didn't work out perfectly. Yeah, I think it was worth the risk, though. Wait for what? This card's more vulnerable to uh, Ravenous Flock. So I guess I'm gonna do this one. We both have five health. But you know, like, I don't, I don't really see them buffing up the health of Ezreal in this situation, for that to matter. Keep your head down, okay? All right. So now neither. Of them die to a flock. This would be really satisfying if we can win this for how they, you know, like multiple times gave me the the BM emotes of So again, Lulu first or just go just with a this. I think just go with that. Now, now we, you know, we're gonna be playing a leveled up Lulu. Just, it's more difficult for them to kill. Like, it's easier for them to kill something with three health than four health, for sure. They did have the flock. Double flock. All right. So only one card left. Yeah, Lulu's safe unless they have, like, Thermogenic Beam. That could kill Lulu. Wow. Go on. 
<laughs> that was a good draw. I was planning on going Pale Cascade on that to heal it, so that, like, the next turn it wouldn't be damaged. It wouldn't help it right now, but I was planning on doing that. That was a good draw for them. Zoe's too powerful not to play. Obviously, I hope they don't kill Zoe, but too powerful not to play. Hmm. It's too bad. Barrier. That challenger. Oh, man, this would be a really good win if we can pull this out. You know, earlier twice they thought the game was over. I love drawing that deny. That's always a good draw. Okay. You know, that, that'd just be a pretty easy two for one for them, right? Killing my elusive and then also getting a blocker. Just gonna keep that from happening. <clears throat> yeah, we could turn Captain Farron into a 1 1. Ooh, Nopify's good. Alright, we'll do the same thing. GG's. There we go. That was a good win for Lulu Zoe. My opponent was so confident. That was a good win. Alright, they who endure. Just keep all these. I like these cards. Just water. It's really? gone now, but where are you? Yeah, just just some water. Please, I have connections. Huh. Wasn't really expecting a dream one. I thought I was gonna be able to get a gem and, and then gem the goat back, but um yeah. Good card. Get him, flower child. Ooh. That doesn't look so good. So how do we want to deal with this? Because I need the things in play to support. So I can't really trade. I can... I can, like, block and retreat and return. Thank you, Headhunter. Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. But I don't think I really want to do that either, honestly. So I, I guess I'm just taking all of this. That was a really, really good Unspeakable Horror. I, I completely regret everything with that. That Unspeakable Horror was perfect. Um. Let them see me, not you. Yeah, that was that was pretty nice. 
because this Crescent Guardian's a huge threat. We, we shall not rest until all betrayers Hmm. Oh, down. Let me lead. So that's one kill for Callista. But I need to just get, you know, I need to start clearing out all these things. That wasn't a very good play by them. I think I'm I'm just attacking with the four three ephemeral if I'm them, because you know they know about the gem in hand. Oh, they're leveling up Callista. Well, I guess that's understandable then. Yeah, never mind. Now, now it's a good play having a having the third ravenous butcher. Makes that a good play. All right, I don't don't know if I got any good blocks. I guess I have to go. Yeah, I basically don't have any good blocks. I'm basically dead. Very good hand. That was a, that's a pretty crazy turn five that they had. They don't even have like a three two, um, needing to attack with the three two either. Don't think I won't unmake you because pretty awesome. You, you know that includes you know like the interaction they had for me and everything. All right, playing against Go Hard. So again. Um, you know, like we, we uh, you know, struggled quite a bit against Gohard earlier, but their hand was amazing. This, again, is going to be a matchup that will be very difficult for us. Ooh, love that Nopify. Love that Nopify. That's a good one. Let's get to it. All right, predictions. I will get that going. Sorry about that. Let's do it over there. Super cool star chart. I'll burn for what I've done. So we're gonna be keep keeping Nopify available to protect Zoe. So it kind of looks like no go hard from them. To get rich. That's what it looks like. All right, we'll use the gem on the goat. And again, keep the two mana up. I don't want them to be able to go Twisted Fate red card. So like this next turn, like I want to go Fey Guide the Goat, but then if they go Twisted Fey Red Card, I can't stop that. But I guess that's okay. Like I, I think Fey Guiding the Goat's gonna be pretty important. I guess they could just go. Oh, even Zap Sprayfin would be a problem too. Both of those four drops are a problem. Maybe they don't have either. Yay! No four drop. That's good. Didn't know the boss is dead for you. Don't know much, do ya? Well, this could be even worse. 
I wish we had Deny, not Nopify. Because they go Twisted Fate red card, the game's over. Deal yep. The game is over. Because you cannot nopify that. You cannot nopify skills. Just not leaving me with anything to support, but I also kind of have to make the blocks. It's the problem here is you know I'm left with like Young Witch and Bench of the Stones. Not really cards you want to be left with. So like Mentor of the Stones make Lulu a 4-5 or Lulu make Mentor of the Stones a 4-4. Four, four. I don't love either of those. I think I just want to draw two cards. There's nothing to fear. GG's. Twisted Fate still great. We got paired against Gohard twice. This is a really, really rough matchup. So two and one against non Gohard. So that's pretty good. But I think this is our worst matchup. Don't make me flamidify you. We're in this together. Right. And that's lethal. So yeah, playing playing a you know Lulu Young Witch, Mench of the Stones, playing that kind of deck against Gohard is just really really tough, and it's it's what has, um, you know, it's a big reason why this kind of deck is not very good in the current metagame because of how prevalent Gohard is, and so un unfortunately we did get paired against it twice, and so those were both losses, because um, yeah, it's it, you just can't really play Young Witch against Gohard, <laughs> it's too difficult. And just like these kind of cards. Um, but oh well. Uh, besides that, we are 2-1. and one, So that that's good. Because, you know, like, Lulu is one of the weakest champ champions. And so we were 2-1. and one. Um, Besides that, Zoe did awesome. You know, Zoe's another card that, while not very good against Go Hard, it's easier to... It's kind of a little bit easier to protect Zoe. And, you know, Zoe's just a, a one-drop. And if you can just get a hit in, then... Then it's still Zoe can uh, replace itself, which still helps you uh, continue on against a Go Hard deck. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I like so pretty happy with the deck overall. I don't really know. I don't. I would. I don't think I'd really change anything. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Is I, I don't know if I'd really change anything. Um, I think I was probably the least impressed with like the retreat. Um, I, I definitely really liked Sun Blessed Vigor. You know, I like some less vigor. I like deny. I like the nopify. Maybe that kind of stuff instead of retreat, where some less vigor can can add on that extra health to help you survive, help units survive a little bit. Vague guide was pretty good. Um, yeah, you know, like Lulu still just Lulu could use a little bit of a buff. 
basically. Use a little bit of a buff. And uh, we kind of see, like, Zoe's really powerful and everything, but we see the, the kind of problem with, like, the four mana slot if we're not playing um, Shen or Taric in this kind of support deck. Like, three mana, you got a bunch of other stuff. You know, you have your Lulu, you have your Mentor of the Stones, you can even play the other three drop, the Fuzzy Caretaker. Fuzzy Caretaker, of course, used to be four. Um, but then you have, like, River Shaper, which is a really good three drop. You have a lot of threes that you can put in this kind of deck. Um, you know, like I said, River Shaper. And then even even playing, like, um, you know, if you want to play, like, a longer game, like, even playing, like, a Solari Priestess in this kind of deck or, like, your Tasty Life, Tasty Fey Folk against Aggro, right? Like, there's lots of threes. And even, like, even like this kind of card with the Spring Gifts isn't necessarily too bad. Trevor's Snooze Bottom, if you're trying to do all the support, again, at three. That's kind of the problem is they just put everything at the three mana slot. And... Um, it would be nice to have a, a good, powerful, you know, like, Mount Sojourners is a 5-drop that, that's hard to kill. That's great. It'd be nice to have a good 4-mana support card that's, again, hard to kill. And they had that with Fuzzy Caretaker, but then they reduced the cost to 3. You know, it was only a 3-3 three, three before. There's just not, like, that good support thing at 4 that's hard, you know, that's hard to kill for, you know, like, that's not dying to, you know, like, your Mystic Shots and, and things like that right away but well we had a really good win against the draven ezreal that game was really good uh, my opponent thought for sure that they were winning and and emoted a couple of times early on kind of showing off thinking that they were going to win the game and we ended up winning that game that was a really good one all right so there's lulu zoe so those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button leave those comments let me know what would you do with zoe would you sorry wrong card zoe we know is really good lulu <laughs> what would you do with lulu would you keep uh, Lulu the same? Um, would you buff up Lulu? And if so, how would you buff up Lulu? My my suggestion is to make Lulu a 2-4, make it a little bit more difficult to kill Lulu and make it easier for Lulu to support. Um, what do you think about that? What, what, uh, do you think that would be a good change? Uh, yes or no? And if you got a better idea, you know, love to hear those comments. All right, but that's it for Lulu Zoe. Uh, that's all I got for this one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.